In this video, we're going to talk about Saudi Arabia's $500 billion future megacity. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Saudi Arabia is building a futuristic city in the middle of a vast desert, from scratch. A vital element of the country's Vision 2030 plan, the project is the brainchild of Saudi's de facto leader, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, also known as MBS. The site covers an area of more than 10,000 square miles, about the same size as Massachusetts, and it could cost $500 billion to complete. So Mohammed bin Salman wants to project himself as a liberal leader within the conservative royal family in Saudi Arabia, Ali Dogan, research fellow at the Leibniz Zentrum Moderner Orient Institute, told CNBC in an interview. Neom is a mega-project seen in Saudi Arabia and the young Saudi population as part of this liberalization process. The Neom project is far from without controversy, though. Critics say it's another attempt by the crown prince to improve his image after U.S. intelligence officials concluded he was behind the 2018 killing of journalist and Saudi dissident Jamal Khashoggi. It also is being seen by some as a way to distract attention from Saudi Arabia's human rights record. As of 2023, that timeline looked unlikely. Niam's official website promised that some people would live there from 2024, but said it would be 2030 before it was home to a million people, and 2045 before its target of 9 million. As the plans developed, Crown Prince Mohammed's decision to form a closer alliance with China's President Xi Jinping has some analysts concerned. As Insider reported, they believe that the Saudis could be preparing to use sophisticated Chinese surveillance technology to tightly monitor and control Neom's residents. Yet preparations for Neom, the $500 billion signature project and Prince Mohammed bin Salman's drive to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy, are well underway. The organization behind the development, expected to be close to the size of Belgium when it's completed, will hire 700 people this year, according to Simon Ainsley, the venture's chief operating officer. While Neom is being sold as a vision of a brighter future, international investors have yet to bite. The scale of the project is vast, and the region already has well-established transport and business hubs in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Qatar. The development is also inextricably linked to the Crown Prince, who, as de facto leader of the kingdom, has drawn ire over Saudi's war in Yemen and his own alleged links to the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. A U.S. intelligence report released last week concluded the prince approved an operation to capture or kill Khashoggi, who had criticized Saudi policies in columns for the Washington Post. Saudi officials deny this and have rejected the report's findings. Analysts say the report is unlikely to change investor sentiment towards Saudi Arabia in the absence of U.S. action against the prince. They had expected sort of a bigger pushback from the Biden administration. But if this is it, then the signal is fairly weak said Neil Quilliam, Managing Director at Azure Strategy, a Middle East-focused consultancy. So, I don't see this as being a major impediment to most companies seeking opportunities in the kingdom. Quilliam said there was some skepticism about so-called gigaprojects, citing the King Abdullah Economic City project in the early 2000s that never really took off. The Saudi government's media office and Neom did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment on the status of Neom in the wake of the U.S. report. Before the report was released, Neom said that the project had attracted domestic and international interest. Neom is in discussions with several companies across diverse industries that are keen to be involved, it said in a statement. Neom was publicly launched in 2017, but large-scale construction of the city has yet to begin. The project currently employs over 750 people, 500 of them hired last year. The murder of Khashoggi by Saudi agents in Istanbul in 2018 had already caused an international outcry, prompting some people at the time to withdraw from the advisory board of Neom. Cognitive City Funding for Neom will initially come from Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund, the Public Investment Fund, according to two financial sources close to the matter. Investors will start getting interested when the core infrastructure is operating so they are not taking an absolute greenfield risk, said a financial source familiar with the project. In 2017, SoftBank Group CEO Masayoshi Son said the company would work with Saudi Arabia on the development of Neom. SoftBank and Son did not respond to a Reuters request for comment on what their current investment plans are for Neom. 
The Saudi Sovereign Fund, PIF, has invested around $45 billion in SoftBank's inaugural $100 billion technology fund. The PIF said in an email that its role on major projects was to act as a long-term cornerstone investor to ensure that capital allocated to all its projects, including NEOM, generates sustainable returns that generate long-term shareholder value. NEOM's flagship zero-carbon project, The Line, envisages a city of one million people run by smart technology with facial recognition and 5G networks as standard. We are fundamentally building the world's first cognitive city, Joseph Bradley, NEOM's head of technology and digital and a former Cisco executive told Reuters, adding that an operating system known as NEOS aimed to seek consent to use data from 90% of residents. This year's hiring spree will span a range of professions from lawyers, accountants, and engineers to specialists in areas such as advanced robotics and adventure sports, according to Ainsley, who was hired in 2019 from Microsoft Corp. Neom officials say building would start soon on the line, a car-free, road-free city within Neom, without specifying a date. Neom said in a statement that work had begun on surveys and temporary infrastructure and that permanent works would start this year, with the first phase to be completed by 2025. The development of the Neom region inside the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has taken initial steps since its inception in 2017. The big-budget project has set high goals for the future of living and working. With a boost budget of 500 billion US dollars and an area 26,500 square kilometers in size, some innovation and spectacular events could be expected. Currently, three main development efforts are taking place. The extremely heavily promoted city of the future, The Line, with its 500 meter tall, landscape cutting reflective walls, the water floating, eight sided, and seven kilometer wide swimming logistics and industrial hub called Oxagon and the high-above-ski resort Trojena, which is hosting the 2029 Outdoor Asian Winter Games in the desert. The core ideas of Neom include the rise to be a regional Silicon Valley, realizing the dream to become a futuristic tourism destination and gaining recognition through unseen megasports events. Neom, in the Tabuk province, has a lot of unique offers as a desert region with a rich coastal area. With an arid, hot desert climate showing rainfall of maximal 412 millimeters and temperatures rising to 44 degrees Celsius, the region still has a very biodiverse ecosystem around the camels. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.